the freehand tool. It allows you to draw shapes much like you would with a pen or a pencil and a piece of paper. You can just click your mouse and begin drawing. Here I draw a shape and I let go and just connect it together. Notice I didn't even have to try to get those points together. I let go and it auto closes. Because I have auto close selected up here in the toolbar, I turn it off and I let go out here, it's going to draw a line, but it won't connect those two points together and, and complete the shape. Auto close is nice because you don't have to worry so much about getting precisely in there and connecting those points. You can get close and you can, you can always go back in and edit those points so you, if you're not looking for accuracy right away, that's a good one. Auto fill and auto stroke are much like the other tools. You know, you turn auto fill off and it won't create the fill. You turn auto stroke off, it doesn't create the stroke or the outline. They're all controlled by the colors selected over here in the style window and chosen in the color picker. The next shape you create will use that style. Select the freehand tool here. With the options up here on the toolbar, you have some choice on how your line will be drawn and the results. Using a tablet, you can switch to use pen pressure and it'll change your variable line width depending on how hard you press your pen. Um, I use a mouse and random here. and It gives you a similar effect, although it is, it is obviously random. You can see here as it gets thicker and thinner as I continue to draw this line. I go to File and Preview or Command R on the Mac. You see the thicker and the thinner lines there in the resulting render. With the freehand tool, you can also just keep adding on to shapes. And I turn auto close off there, and see there's a little red dot that shows up there when you get close to the line here. And I connect into that shape then. So it snaps, snaps on, and then it connects into that shape. So if I switch to the translate points tool there, there I can move them around. You can see it's connected into that shape there. So you can keep adding it on to a shape as you would with the uh, Add Points tool. Make sure you're drawing at frame 0 when you draw off. You're drawing at frame 1 plus. Uh, it won't draw on that frame. Your tools will be grayed out. Make sure you have the correct layer selected when you're drawing. Make sure you have a vector layer selected as well because your tools will be grayed out if you do not.